what is happening in a lot of markets is there's nothing for FHA buyers to buy, nothing for VA buyers to buy. Right. You know, there's nothing available. You know, a three one for thirteen hundred square feet. It's not even. That's not even conforming. I mean, it's it's a one bathroom. The only way you're going to get inventory is death, divorce, job transfer, or come on. So when you start seeing this, this reminds me. Uh, honestly, this reminds me a lot of two thousand seven. Something we do here at One Rental at a Time is we get agents, brokers, investors from around the country talking about what's going on in their market. We do it weekly because it does seem to be changing all the time. And we have the one and only Omar Afaro. How you doing, buddy? Good. What's up, Michael? Appreciate you uh, having me on every Tuesday. Yeah, man. It's, it's always a lot of fun. We're talking about a lot of stuff. We're seeing inventory build. Last time we spoke, it was cancellations. And what, what we're seeing this week, it looks like junker. 1950 junker, two bedroom, one bath, three bedroom, one baths are coming on the market. Talk about what you're seeing and uh, why uh, we'll kind of try to guess what that might mean. What are you seeing? Yeah, well, this is crazy. I'm seeing that median home price increase, obviously, from um, from that drop of 370, 360, you know, you know, this last three, four months. And then it sh starts shooting up again. Um, and now I'm seeing the piece of crap houses that are built in the 50s, 1,200 square feet, 1,100 square feet, one bathroom, still yeah. sell for mid 300s, which I don't even get when it's like 30 or 40 grand over the Zestimate. And not saying that Zillow's correct on the uh, on the valuation, which they, you know, they're <laughs> hot and cold, but $350,000 for a three bedroom, one bath house that's built in the 50s with evaporative swamp cooler on the, yeah. on the roof. It's like, Come on. So when you start seeing this, this reminds me, uh, honestly, this reminds me a lot of 2007. Ah. When, the, when the piece of crap houses were just through the roof, yeah. right? And there was multiple offers. Like this house just came on the market about, you know, a few hours ago. But this is just what's going to start happening. Well, do me a favor. Do, do, do me a favor. Write down the address and let's see if it's pending by next week. Next week. Yep. I have it written yeah. down. Yep. Yeah. And I think your comparison to 2006 is worth discussing. Yeah. Because what I hear you talking about is, hey, you know, median home price, they were newer homes, nicer stuff, getting all the money. Right. I think what, what could be happening, this is just a theory, is there's been such a vacuum of affordable homes uh -huh. below the median. What might be happening, might be happening, right. is you might get some landlords who have collected a bunch of two ones and three ones because those are great rentals. For sure. And what they might be doing is they might be kicking out the tenants, listing it as is, and you could tell based on the pictures, or kicking out the tenants, fixing it up, and selling it. Because what, what is happening in a lot of markets is there's nothing for FHA buyers to buy, nothing for VA buyers to buy. Correct. So if it gets so hot, even the junkers will start selling for all the money. Could that be happening? It, it could be. Yeah. I mean, uh, 200 and $265 a square foot for, you know, for a piece. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, I don't know. I don't want to say that we're going to get to, you know, 280, $300 a square foot, but I mean, obviously a thousand square feet, if it's, if it's done nice, you're getting $300 a square foot. You're selling that property for 300 K. Yeah, so this this could just be like this is this this could be the blow off top, right? You know Where, what? Okay, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I, was, go ahead. I was just gonna say it makes it makes sense to me. Builders can't build for less, right? Right. Um, the older homes, you know, they could be sold for that that are junk. Are you know, there's nothing coming because the move up buyer is not leaving. So who are you left with? You're left with landlords who collected a bunch of properties over the last 20 years who are maybe tired and they're like, Hey, I'm going to try to sell at the peak. I'm going to try to sell and get all the money. And again, if it doesn't sell, they just take it off the market, stick a tenant back in. They're good to go. Right. They're definitely not refinancing. No, you know, no. And that's the other thing too. It's like, okay, if we're <laughs> seeing, bless you. Um, if we're seeing this trend right now of, you know, the smaller houses get, 
the more money. Obviously, that's always been industry standard, right? Right. right. The, the lower the square footage, the higher price per square foot. That's sure. a given across all industries. Well, all, all cities, I should say. Um, yeah. But at the same time, in our area, it's like, you know, there's nothing available. You know, a 3-1 for 1,300 square feet, it's not even, that's not even conforming. I mean, it's it's a one bathroom. Yeah. But you're right. Some there's gonna be a lot of landlords that are gonna be selling these properties for you know for obviously top dollar because um there's nothing else there, dude. There's no. nothing available. So, you know, kudos to him. Shit, I want to sell some of my pro I have a ton of three ones, two ones, two twos, three twos. It's like yeah. you know, but but again, we, we talk about this lot, we talked about this a few episodes or a few um, you know, uh, a few weeks ago that it's the money that you use that's in the property. Like if your out of pocket expense on this three hundred forty five thousand dollar house might be that he bought it for seventy eighty thousand dollars a long time ago. Well, you know what you you have the address there, right? Yeah, and I pulled it up right now. So check well, this out. Yeah, he bought it. Yeah, for ninety thousand bucks in two thousand fifteen. Ninety thousand dollars. So that means. All of his other money, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand bucks is available. Uh, for him equity. To yeah. So this this is this is what I think is happening. I predicted this and talked about it a year ago. Where we're going to get to this is below the median. The move up buyer is broken. The Fed broke housing. What has the only way you're going to get inventory is death, divorce, job transfer, or you're going to get landlords that are like, dude, there's nothing available. You're telling me I can get an extra 50K for my piece of junk? Let's go. Let's kick the tenant out and let's sell it. Because they're asking what, 345 today? Do you think yeah. it like last year's like 295 or 275? Yeah, e easy, 275. Yeah. And this is what happens when there's nothing available, right? If that property can pass FHA inspection, it'll sell. It'll sell. There's nothing available. Yeah, you know what? It, it yeah, it, it it will sell. But this is the other thing we were just discussing, and and before I was going to cut you off about um about these landlords, you know, that are what do you call getting or trying to get the most money possible. Um, this is the thing: if they do sell, you know, they're going to grab that money in ten thirty one at somewhere else, or potentially, um, they're just going to keep it. I mean, because yeah, they're gonna they're gonna stack cash and. Wait on the sidelines, maybe you don't know. Yeah, yeah it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So again, I I I'm gonna wild ass guess that that is a landlord, right? They bought it cheap. They've been renting. They've been cash flowing. They're like, hey, there's nothing available. Let me go get max dollar for my little junky home from 1952. And uh, I can't blame them. I mean, that's you know, that's not a bad play, I guess. That, that's what all. That's what all of us. Um, what do you call? We'll do. Uh, obviously you yeah. know but yeah so with, with this being said my my this this trig triggers something else for me yep now correct me if i'm wrong if we are in a you know six and a half seven percent type of you know industry right now for loans yep. right yep. Yep. yep yep do you feel because i feel that in the next i don't know 18 24 months we are going to see some different type of loans to be able to go get you qualified. Uh, I think when in doubt, uh, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think government, uh, I think home ownership's a hot button for politicians. I think uh, all they could think about is demand. Yeah. And thus you will see more products, 1% down 40 year loans, you know, 203 K plus or whatever they're going to be called. Uh, yeah, I I do. I think so. And you know what? Uh, something else to, to consider. There's a lot of 5171 arms right now. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not going to say that, you know, that's what the, you know, subprime market was, you know, in, in 2006. Oh, yeah. Uh, By no comparison. At least not yet. I, but we could get there. We could. But get no, there. no, no, no comparison at all. But it, it, it has some type of feeling of that way because everyone's saying, oh, just get a 5-1 arm, 7-1 arm. Right now, lock in the rate or, yeah, you know, I hate, that that would you I hate it. I hate yeah. arms. I just I despise them. If you're going to have, if you're going to be in and out in three, in three years. Yeah. If that's like, the purpose, but yeah, yeah. If, 
if you're going to be a buy and hold investor and you sign up for a five one or seven one arm, good luck. I mean, maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't. Right, because e e even still, right now, my long term of DSCR loans are the three two one buy down, right? Or yeah, the three, but they're fixed. Three two one step down. Yeah. Yes, step down. Yeah, and they're fixed though. They're fixed. Yeah, oh. the thirty are fixed. They're just yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, so, gonna be, it's gonna be really interesting. So I think there's a lot of stuff going on here as we get into Q4. I think days on market's gonna expand. I do think inventory builds, new listings. I think it's gonna be really interesting to watch this house. So write it down. Um, because if landlords are selling, like if they're selling junk, the three ones, the two ones, ah, uh, that could be a sign. That could be a sign. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all good. You know, it is a sign, but we'll we'll just, you know. We will go through the process and see what happens. Well, it's, it, let's be clear. It's not a, maybe not even a negative sign. It could be seen as a positive sign. Because again, if the three ones are going to get 345, what does that mean a three two should get? 390? 405? Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, it, it a, a three one getting all the money probably makes your three two four twos worth a hell of a lot more. <laughs> you know what? The, the, if, if, if this house sold for 345K, which it may, I have a three two that I just bought right now for two ninety, and it comes with an extra dirt or extra piece of you know cloth. Yeah. That I'm gonna sell the I'm gonna sell my three two for exactly this three forty nine nine and keep like the that. lot, and then yeah. keep the lot or flip the lot and make a hundred thousand dollars. Easy peasy, easy peasy. That's crazy, but you know, yeah. Yeah. we'll watch it. We'll watch it again. Then, who knows this? This could be wish pricing, and it never nothing, nothing happens. But we'll know in a week or so. Omar, exactly. if somebody wanted to buy or sell in the high desert or join your team, how would they do that? You guys, follow me on uh, IG at Invest with Omar or OmarAlfaro.com, which is the website. Thank you, buddy.